So you guys decided to root your Kindle and install Cydrogen Mod or Android 7.0 and you don't like it as well as Kindle Fire OS. So you want to go back. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys today. What's up guys, this is RC Films here and I'm going to show you how to reinstall your Kindle Fire OS on your Kindle Fire HD. Now this method works for all Kindle Fire HD devices. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop onto the Windows side of our computer, which if you'd like to see my video on how I dual booted my MacBook Pro on Mac and Windows, click the link in the description or the card up in the top right corner. You go into your browser and locate this link, Amazon.com and it's the uh, help and customer service page. You're going to download, get your right generation and right screen size for your uh, device. So guys, my Kindle Fire software is the Kindle Fire HD second generation. So I'm gonna scroll down until I find that and here it is. And this is my software that I need, so I'm going to scroll down and go into download software update. And wait till that is done. And once that's done downloading, we're gonna drag and drop onto our desktop. Next thing that we need to do is rename it. We're going to go in, we're going to call it Kindle Fire Software dot zip. Make sure that the dot zip is pinned, otherwise this will not work. Okay guys, so we're going to go into settings and then scroll all the way down until you find about tablet and scroll all the way down to build number. Tap build number until you see you have enabled developer option settings. Press back, press developer options, and type and tap on here and turn on USB debugging. And take a USB wire, plug it into your computer, and then plug it into your Kindle Fire. Go into notifications and tap USB charging this device. Go into transfer files. Now we are going to go into our file explorer on our computer. We're going to go into this PC and find Amazon, internal shared storage, and here we have all of our storage. So we're gonna drag and drop our Kindle Fire software onto our Kindle. And our software is now into our computer. So now we're gonna X out of this, and we're gonna go back into our Kindle, and we're going to restart our device. We're going to go into recovery, and press OK. And it will soon boot into t uh, TWRP. Now this is when we're going to install our Kindle Fire OS software update. So we're going to go into wipe, and then we're going to just do factory reset. Press back, back again. And now we are going to go into install. We're going to scroll down until we find Kindle Fire Software.zip and swipe to confirm flash. And this will take a while. Okay, now that the uh, zip install is complete, we are going to press wipe cache in Delvic. Press back, and we're going to reboot system. Swipe to install. And there is our regular Kindle Fire boot loader. And there we go, guys. We have, we can select our language. And then we're gonna skip the setup for later. And look at that. We have our stock Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and we are completely ready to go. All right, guys, I wanna thank you for watching this RC Films. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Kindle, Mac, and Android videos. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Comment down below. See you in the next one.